Hello lovely people. Today I am joined not only by my gorgeous wife, but by Jamie and Shava. Hi. Hello. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you guys do? Go for it. Oh, oh this is awesome. I love that you passed <laughs> off the screen. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not doing it. <laughs> Shava's just like, Jamie. Oh. Can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> we make content on trans stuff. Jamie's trans. Because I'm trans. Journey, yes. Uh, and our relationship and the ups and downs that have gone alongside that journey. And then this is my channel, and I make content about being deaf, disabled, having chronic illness, gayness, and gayness. vintage stuff. <laughs> yeah, I love that the word is actually gayness. Is it absolutely like, yeah, 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 yeah. So if there's a lot of gay people in a room, you can say, this room is full of gayness. Oh. Oh. Transliness should be a word. Transliness, though. yeah. Transliness. Really? It's not you say it That doesn't make sense. Mm. Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Gayness rolls But why up the trans time, so yeah. Transness. I just talk about it. I'm like, I'm talking about like transy or trans We've made up a lot of now. terms. Baby trans. Baby trans. Yeah. Baby trans. Yeah. There's a new one. For people okay. who are like yeah. just transitioning. Like yeah, baby yeah. gay. I've heard that one. Yeah. 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 Sure. I wanted to talk to you guys about teetotal life. Not mm. drinking. Yeah. Which in England is apparently quite strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People always seem very shocked when they find out that I don't drink. So I wanted to talk to you guys about it and whether you did drink and then you stopped or whether you've always not drunk and what's that like? I just want to bond with some other people who may have similar experiences to me because I always felt very alone as a teenager oh, who didn't I'm, drink. But yeah, no, we've been not invited to things with friends because oh, really? they're like, oh, we yeah. thought you wouldn't like it because you don't drink. All the time, especially like, like during teenage years. They'll be like, oh, yeah. you don't drink, so why would you want to come? Yeah. I'm like, well, there's more to it. It's a party! Yeah. I can act stupid without drinking. <laughs> exactly. And just saying, being the only sober one in a room can be quite entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I think it's because some people who, as a person who drinks, I think it's like people feel like almost a bit like you're gonna judge them because you're sober. Yeah. And yeah. therefore you're gonna like remember everything they do. Whereas if you're also like slightly yeah. inebriated, then you're also gonna be making like, Yeah. Uh, I think when we first started dating, you had issues with the idea that I would be aware of everything you did whilst drunk and then I'd like hold it against you. And then you realised that I have memory problems, so <laughs> I don't remember anything that goes on. So called do you drink Often. No, not really anymore. I used to drink quite a lot, but I think because Jessica doesn't drink, it just I just like don't really drink anymore. Unless I'm like out with friends who also drink, and then I might have a bit. But I don't really get really drunk anymore. Just... It's funny. Drunk Claudia didn't like me very much to start with, because mm. <laughs> she was like, "You're stopping my fun." Oh. Um, <laughs> I would tell her like, if I get really drunk tonight, just make sure you give me lots of water and I have to be in bed by this time and even if I'm like, don't give me water, just force me to have it. She's like, okay. And then later on she'd be like, Claudia, here's some water. I'd be like, no! And I'd smash it out of her hand. And like, I love that. I was like, don't tell me what to do. You. Just tell me. Or she'd do it in the same breath. She'd be like, go get me water. I need it. I return with it. How dare you? <laughs> then you came up with an ingenious plan of putting like lime and ice in it yeah. and telling me it was gin and tonic and then I was like, okay. That's brilliant. We have done that. There you go. Yeah. To be like, oh, here's some more. We went to the extent of emptying a wine bottle, and then which was red wine, and filling it with water. water. Well, they still so didn't notice. Did yeah. Yeah. Did wow. Notice. Did, they, did they pour it into a glass? And no, still not straight notice? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I go. Yeah. <laughs> I go. <get up>. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Why need yeah. water? That sounds pretty disgusting. Yeah. To, be oh, yeah. to be honest, yeah. wine also sounds disgusting yeah. to me. So yeah. Yes! That's a big part of it. Just don't like the taste. Just Have you never like, drank? Um, when I was like, okay, I drank before I was legally allowed to drink. Like when okay, I was 16, sure, sure. having like house parties, hmm. sneaking some beers in and stuff. Mom. Yes, yeah. But like, we'd have a bit of a drink then, and yeah. then I just got bored of it. Mm. I was like, whenever I wake up the next day, I feel awful, I hate it, I don't feel good when I'm drinking, so I'm just not gonna do it anymore. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Fun fact. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the last time I was drunk. It wasn't the last time, it was the time before. I've only, it was years <laughs> of being together, and nine years of knowing you in total. Jamie's been drunk twice. Whoa. Yeah, the first time, you confessed you liked me. Yeah. Oh. And the second time uh, was our sort of first house party thing. Sure. So um, oh, okay, I'm quite yeah. grateful for the time that you drank. Yes, yeah. well, we ended up together. Yeah. <laughs> it does yeah. like How would life have gone? 
you hadn't got drunk that one time. And had that Dutch courage. <laughs> I think yeah. if you're like someone like me and possibly like you, like who's a bit more like introverted than extroverted, like Jessica, like fine drinking kind of helped in the past. But as I've got older, <laughs> I've become like more confident, so I don't need it so much because it's a bit of a security blanket thing. I feel fine. like I feel like a lot of people drink because they feel like they're more confident and more fun. Yeah. But like for me, I just got a bit sleepy. Yeah. Which doesn't oh. make you more fun. No. So there was no point for me. I was just like in a corner, like oh. <laughs> time. I always got drunk on other people's inhibitions. So like as people start to drop their guard, have more fun, dance around, I'm like, yes, let's go. <laughs> let's dance on some tables. Yeah, but I think you were always a little bit high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, one of my medications apparently is the equivalent of two glasses of beer. Really? And I take it three times a day. <laughs> so technically, I drink ah. six just glasses of beer yeah. a day. <laughs> yeah. and I'm just always. If you stuck. miss a pill, you basically become a bit hungover. Which is true. She becomes really, really grumpy. Wow. Really like, oh, I've got a headache. Oh, wow. Yeah, my body In starts to vibrate. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it goes down really? ten Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like a this in the oh corner, no. <laughs> to be fellas. Can we Whoa. can we not relive? <laughs> that? When was the last time when I told Shabra I liked her? That was a little bit over eight years ago because it was November. Eight. But do your so, family drink? Yes, a lot. Yeah, like, my, not in my a bad way. oh yeah, no, not in a bad way. But my parents incredible. enjoy yeah. like wine, whiskeys. They go out with like colleagues and stuff and have yeah. drinks. My mum has genuinely said to me, "I don't understand how I've raised a child that doesn't drink." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, She's quite happy about it. She's like, I'm very proud of you. I think it's a good thing, yeah. but I don't understand how it's happened. Yeah, I think a bit my like, parents share that confusion. <laughs> when you go to like the pub or like something with your parents, where they ever a bit like, oh, just have one. Like try and almost not force you, but like. Not my parents, but other people. Okay. Like somebody even bought us drinks, alcoholic drinks, didn't tell us it was alcohol, knows oh. we don't drink and just put them in our hands, said, here, I got your drink. And we take a sip and it's like, this is alcohol and really disgusting alcohol. Yeah. So we just put them back down. It's a bit and weird because also it's just costing them more money as well. Yeah. That was also in a professional setting. So it wasn't even like they were just friends. Oh yeah, it was such an expectation bit to just drink mm, yes. all the time. But I constantly get given alcohol just <laughs> it's just because, you, go. <laughs> you know when you go to an event and they're like, yeah. because I also can't have sugar, so it then really limits the options ah. for what I can have to drink. That because <laughs> normally it's just, here, have some Prosecco as you enter, or here, yeah. we have some lemonade, and I'm like, mm. is it diet? It's actually lemonade? like weddings, isn't it? It's yes. always like the sober option is like some fancy flavoured water or something. Full sugared mango. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. always super sugary. Yeah. And then I'm like, anything? Any and if they don't have Diet Coke, I am just on water all night long. Oh. They just envisage Jessica like with a straw to a puddle. Oh. <laughs> oh. A Dang. puddle. You joke, but you know, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't roll it out. She gets so desperate. She gets really thirsty like every ten minutes. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I constantly thirsty. drink. I have to hydrate. I drink long car journeys are a nightmare because she's just like, We've run out of fluids. I need the toilet. It's like every half hour. It's even like, I need another drink or I need the toilet. Like, oh. Oh my yeah, God. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I drink eight liters of water a day. Wow. Wow. I, I wish I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's what the, net, the NHS always says that we should be doing. No, no. they say eight glasses. Eight glasses. Eight yeah. glasses. I think we should go to like two liters. I, I can't even do two glasses a day. I try. Yeah, I what? can't drink. I don't water. understand people who can't take. What do you it drink if you don't drink water? Oh no, like, Coke, like, I mean you still have liquids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Right. N nowhere near the equivalent of what you're supposed to though. Don't lie. We don't drink eight liquid, eight glasses no, of liquids between no. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got Claudia Caffet, so. So it's alright for me to shrivel up like a prune, but because <laughs> you're just drinking our share together. Yeah. Oh. I actually have. It's interesting that your family drink, because my family does as well, and they're Scandinavian, they're very into their alcohol. And uh, my mother actually tries to limit herself by being like, only drink after 6 p.m. I think she's rolled it back now, to be honest. When we were kids. Yeah, that's definitely not true. I've seen her drink before. <laughs> <laughs> when oh we were God. kids, though, it was the limit. I think maybe I set it upon her. Maybe she didn't make a choice. I think I decided when I was like five. Was like, mother, You're not allowed to drink until it's 6 p.m. Because it's the easy one to tell on the clock. Uh, yeah, for the same reason yeah. my rule is 12. Yeah. What? Wait, so you don't drink until midnight? After, after midday. <laughs> so no, you after do. After midday is okay. Yeah. Lunchtime drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, a rule right. in our, that's a rule in our household. Oh, I do. Well, one has two lines. One is, it's five o'clock somewhere. Which yeah. Is yeah, yeah. 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 And the second is, just drink through it. All the time. Just, just drink, drink through it. Anything now, like, just yeah. drink through it. But also, it's the weekend. 
That's what it's just like. It's the weekend. I'll be like, Mum, it's really early. Even it's the weekend. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's Tuesday. How early is it? Oh, lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's but like, all right. But like, just just like a gin and tonic. Yeah, it's like, but then it, it's like Thursday, and she's like, it's the weekend. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but one of the worst things for me about not drinking is that there are no LGBTQ plus events that do not revolve around alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Unless uh, you have a yeah. baby, because there's like yeah. there's like baby groups. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, honey. You either have to have a glass we've not of alcohol been yet. Or a baby. We don't know. <laughs> we've not been to well, the baby true. event. I, I was We're just not sure. Say. Right though, because pride events mm. are very centered Huge around like alcohol, after parties, alcohol, and then alcohol during the day. Yeah. yeah. You can't go Even to pride events. Even the daytime drunk things. People. Just like, mm-hmm. I want to go to an event. And as yeah. a gay student, I was always just like, can I have an event? Just one, please. Where it doesn't start at 11 p.m. and yeah. it doesn't mean I have to. Everyone has to drink excessively. And it's not dark mm. and noisy and kind of smelly. There's an LGBT tennis table club. Sure. In Brighton. How, but again, have we been? No, but that's. Do they know? Do we know? They're not just drinking. Do they drink? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> it's actually beer pong. Like, you know, yeah, it's not actually. <laughs> On a, for a start, trans pride isn't very. Alcoholic. That is, is far more family friendly. Yeah. Oh. So like, um, there's a, an yeah, and there's even a, an evening thing at Trans Pride that we went to, and there was alcohol, but not not everybody was drinking. It, it was maybe uh, what you'd class as kind of dirty and smelly type. That like, was still in that oh, okay. scenario. <laughs> Very sticky. Sticky. Oh, no. yeah. Sticky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was not as alcohol based as like huh. the LGBT plus prides that like mm. like London Pride. It Why wasn't do you like think that. that is? I don't know. It was an over 18 event, so it was definitely not an age thing, mm. but there was just a lot less alcohol. Can I uh, say something without being too mean? Oh no. Trans people always look really young, so it may not be out of desire for necessity. They had to have ID. <laughs> no, ah. I know. I just imagined like little Nate and Alex like saying the exact same things, like, oh. <laughs> What an age thing. Yeah. I was going to say something a bit more positive about, like, maybe, because, you know, going back about how alcohol is used as a bit of a, like, a crutch, a, a, crutch, a blanket about your insecurities. Maybe when you're, like, an out and proud trans person, you've kind of gone through your insecurities and now actually you're just quite confident as a person. I don't know. So you don't feel that like you need to drink so much? Maybe. Oh, I think but it's and also, like, a safe environment yeah. as well. Yeah. Like, That's what I was going to yeah. say. Like, if you look at Pride events too, so trans people in particular are always quite segregated, whether it be through self-action or not. I've always found that the trans community never feel at place in general prides, but trans prides have such a different feel. Mm. So you're right about the security blanket, but it's an environment that they can just be themselves yeah. in. Whereas yeah. I do think the LGB side of the pride section seems to be more party heavy. Yeah, yeah. I think there's heavy. also a lot more of a reliance on that LGB side. L- on the LGB, it's really hard to say that without, without then the continuing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. LGBTQ+, the <laughs> LGB side, um, it's obviously a lot more about an outward feeling. So trans pride is about you personally mm-hmm. being trans or you're there to support someone who is trans. Mm-hmm. Whereas the LGB parties, so much of it is that kind of heightened sort of sexual tension. Because it's a Where you're very yeah. aware that there are people who are kind of like, oh, yeah. are people looking at you? Are you looking at people? What's mm-hmm. going on? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We saved so much money as students by not drinking though. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I get the saving money All thing, our actually. friends were broke and I they know. were buying... I was always like, alcohol. can we go out to lunch? Can we go do some fun stuff? And my friend's like, no, we have no money. I spent £200 last night, night out, yeah. at yeah. the club. I'm like, what did you even do? I know someone who had like 20 quid yeah. left and they were like, food or a bottle of vodka? They went for the vodka. They literally went for vodka and bought yeah. four cans of beans to last them the, like three days before the next lot of <laughs> What is wrong with people? I traded a bag of Haribo um, <laughs> for a whole litre bottle of um, Smirnoff vodka. That's at, a good at, at trade. Music festival. Wait, wait, that? which way did it go? Did you get the vodka? Yeah. Then that that's, was a, yeah that's a really good trade. <laughs> did the person think there was something in the jelly bean? Yeah. No, they were just like, I think at those kind of music events, there's just so much alcohol and everyone's so drunk they kind of want something else that's not alcohol right. and like people hadn't prepared they bought like all the their bathroom they bought all the their alcohol goes down. Yeah. That's okay. So do you actually drink alcohol? No, never. Mm. Yes. If if we're given a cocktail and it has coconut in it, I will drink it because I love the taste <laughs> of coconut. But yeah, I would never Except for your special weakness <laughs> of coconut, my coconut. coconut. 
Thank you so much for watching. Go and subscribe to Jamie and Shava on their various social media channels. What are they? At Jammy Dodger. Jammy oh Dodger. my goodness. You are the worst creator. I love you. It's fine. We're going to put them on screen. So just to clear up any confusion, there will also be links in the description below where you can just click right through because clearly Jamie's not doing it for you today. You're taking notes. Not very good. <laughs> there we go. If you've enjoyed this video, please do subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and comment below with your own thoughts about alcohol. Do you drink? How much do you drink? Do your friends drink? What is the culture of drinking like in your country? I am intrigued, so please let us know, and I shall see you for tomorrow's video. <gasps> <laughs> there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I was always the one girl in the back. I remember my dad's taking me to get my first part. This is absolutely no one. Yeah, this, this is not. Social out. medias. Go. <laughs> Go. And then like your, uh, don't walk away. I mean, is it no, like, no, no, no. the name of your channel? Oh, social <laughs> medias. Go. Oh. No, I like just bugger off now. Bye. <laughs>